Welcome to Product One's YouTube series. Uh, today we are looking at PDC's engineering calculation software, which is called MathCAD. And what we're seeing there in front of you is MathCAD Prime 5.0. Okay, so what MathCAD uh, allows people to do is to validate and share and verify their engineering calculations. So this is both a reporting tool and the engineering calculation too. What I mean with that is, with MathCAD off the bat, you can type an actual document. So for an example, you can put on text here and you can do a whole lot of other things. You can select the test, bold it, and maybe underline it, whatever the case is. So it's, it's you. So the idea is, it does not limit you only on typing. You can also put in images. What MedCAD does as well, it enables you to import objects. So I can take the picture and put it in this worksheet, which is obviously going to be my report. And I'll show you a fully finished report after this. And what's nice about this is if that image changes, this image that's inside MedCAD will also update. So that's the power of MedCAD. So you can also set up your own template. So I've got something similar here. So what I've done is I've created my own custom template for this very demonstration. So if you can see there, I've put in the company logo, headers and footers, and I've even went to the trouble of putting the actual text just to show you what you can actually do. This is now the agenda in terms of what I'm going to do with MedCAD. So let's just jump straight to it. So MedCAD is one of the most unit sensitive uh, products you will ever use, especially if you're doing engineering calculations or just normal calculations for your business. So if I were to give any engineer this formula here or this particular problem, let's, so let's say inches, be aware that all that I'm having here is distance measurements, which are having different units. Just to make it interesting, I'm just going to also switch between SI units, put feet or whatever the case is. So this is what I have here. Immediately when I say equal sign, MathCAD gives me the answer in the appropriate unit. So it did the conversion in the background and so forth. And of course, this year I've got full control over how I want my results to be displayed. So I can choose whether it's decimals or whatever the case is. What I like is, if I don't like that answer in meters, I can convert it to uh, kilometers. What I'm also impressed about is the ability for MedCAD to identify inappropriate units. So if you see there, I've just changed this from inches to minutes. It tells me that the unit is not compatible. So you don't have to make uh, these uh, costly mistakes. So I can say, oh no, I made a mistake. I meant to say miles. It's unit sensitive in a sense that you can have a scenario like this where you've got voltage and Let's pick a value here, let's say over 10 amp. So voltage over current, and if I say equal sign, it gives me the answer in ohms. So it's not only limited to electrical uh, problems, you can also do something like this. So let's say I'm having force over area in this instance. Immediately when I say equal sign, it gives me the answer in pastels. Now MathCAD has over 600 functions so i'm not gonna go through all of them but the beauty is they span through various verticals be it you're trying to do curve regression or some financial stuff uh, data analysis statistics you name it bootstrapping all of those are inside MathCAD. so however for this particular exercise i'm going to do something very very simple a simple two by two matrix so i'm having a value here and I'm just typing random numbers at the moment. So, and let's just populate this matrix here. In fact, let's make things interesting and just add one to be a square root. So I can say I want an eigenvector for this particular problem. So here's what I can do. In fact, let me just close this just to get maximum screen real estate. So if I go to matrices, I can look for matrix specific functions. So I can say, look, what I'm looking for here is an eigenvector, and that's what I get. So that's the power of MathCAD. So you don't have to think that much. So 
By the way, MathCAD does not only support numerical calculation, it also supports symbolic calculations as well. So, and I think maybe let, let me quickly show you what do I mean with that. So, as much as you can do 1 plus 1 equals 2 in terms inside MathCAD, you can also do something like this. So, I can have a simple or one of the most famous quadratic equations that you probably might have come across in your life. So, this is what I have. I'm having a simple quadratic equations, and I can solve for that. I can say, look, how about I solve for x? Immediately, it actually breaks it down to those two values that define x. And that's the, what I mean when I say it has a symbolic engine as well. All right. So, going back to this, we can do also simple exercises, like a simple uh, linear equations, where you can say, I want... Uh, x, oh, define x to be equals to a certain value, and likewise with y. So this is what I have at the moment. Then I can have a function z, which says here that it's x squared, maybe plus, let's say, 3y. Immediately when I say equal sign, it gives me the value there. However, should I go back and make any modifications to those inputs, my answer changes. It's a live document. So quickly, so let's do uh, simultaneous equations. I'm going to utilize something called the solve block. And what I like is that if you hover over certain operations, you get shortcuts. So for an example, for a solve block, if you hover over that, it tells you that uh, inside the parentheses, it's control 7, you get a, a, a quick access to solve block, so which is what I have. And this goes across a couple of other things. So for an example, even with constants, if I were to put here, it tells me that, oh, this is what I have, and in, in, including pi was the shortcut thereof. So that means that for pi, it's P, letter, uh, for Greek letter, is control G. That's what I get pi. Okay, so let's get back to our problem at hand. So what a solve block gives me access to do, so I just want to move it here so that it gets, it's an area where you can put your guess values and of course your constraints and whatever you're solving. So I'm going to do this a bit later as well again. So let's say I'm having a scenario where I don't know what is the value for x. So let's say I'm having 2y. That's the first sort of like uh, expression for x and y. And then, let's say I'm having, let's say 27, and all of that, I'm doing what to call an ex implicit uh, uh, equal sign. So I can say here, yeah, I need, let's say x plus y maybe, or whatever the case is. So if I come here and say, find x and y, it gives me the values for those two entities. So you see the significance of this, which is uh, coming up. So you can also do integrals as well. So I can have a scenario where I'm having, obviously, sine of t and dt. If I were to solve this, I know that it's minus cosine. So that's the power of this. Of course, you can go overboard and put on limits and so forth. I just showed you how to do pi, so let's make the upper limit, the lower limit to be pi, and let's put in maybe minus 3 here, or whatever the case is, and sine of t, this time around, let's say make it t squared, and if I do evaluate this, I get the answer. If I were to change anything on that particular formula, the answer will also update like you've seen there. In terms of 2D graphs, the system supports an array of plots. So you can do 2D graphs, a polar plot, a contour plot, and even 3D plot. You'll see this in a second. So if I were to do a simple XY plot, and I'm having a plot like this, I'm not going to spend too much time modifying because we can change the color and all of that stuff and so forth. But what I want to do is, in this particular graph, should I change any value here, the feedback changes. So let's do something far more interesting as well. So let's say you're in school, you're having a particular problem where you've got two functions of x. So let's say function 1 for x is equals to 2x plus 5. So that's the first function. Second function of x, let's say is equals to 3x minus 2 maybe. 
So these are two functions of x. So let's plot these. So if I were to plot those two functions, so let's take a simple xy plot, like you've seen here, I'm going to say, what is function of x? The first one. And of course, the second one. So I'm plotting these two on the same graph. The reason for this is that I want to see where they intersect. Of course, you can manipulate the display of your graph. You can make it bigger and you can do something as fun as this. So if I wanted to know where those two entities intersect, I can say, look, according to where I'm standing, on the x-axis, there it's positive and also going to the y-axis is also positive. So what do I need to do? Remember that salt block that I showed you? You can leverage that. So remember, this is the field where you put in what you call guess value. So I'm just going to guess and say, maybe make this uh, x equals to 1 and y equals to 1. However, in here, it's going to be the exact same expression. The only thing that I'm going to do is substitute them with y. So I'm going to say, look, y is equals to 2x plus 5. Then the next one will be y is also equals to 3x minus 2. Just need to make sure those are correct. That's it. So if I were to come back now here, I can say find x and y. The biggest thing that I showed you as well was uh, matrices. So I can say, how about I retroactively assign a matrix here. I'm going to say solution x and solution y. Why I'm doing this is if I come back and say equal sign, I'm getting the two values for x and for y. So now I will copy this graph over here because uh, MathCAD works in a logical sense from top to bottom. So meaning that you can't define a function at the top and have an answer on top of that. So this is what I have. So with the plot, I'm going to add X and Y plots. The significance of having those matrices, remember I said solution X, you get when I type solution X, it gives me whatever is the answer for, in this instance, solution X. Okay, so the same will apply when I were to change this to solution Y. And that's the power of MathCAD. Okay, now, if we were to finalize this particular demonstration is, you can also do 3D plots as well. So the process is as easy as having a function and you say, show me how the 3D plot will look like. This is of significance uh, if you are having a structure or an error fault that's driven by a calculation or an equation. And you can extrapolate this and create a workable a surface that you can take into our design software Creo Parametric. I'm going to be doing this in the upcoming demos as well. Look out for that one. So last but not least, let's talk about the ability of the software to deal with other solutions, be it the uh, Excel or be it design software. So we'll touch on Excel in this particular demonstration. So if I'm having a three by three matrix like this, so I'm just typing random values onto this. And because everything is live, I just want everybody to see uh, me typing these values. Uh, let's take maybe 21 and just typing random values here. Of course, I can move this around so that it's in the field of view. So now the software enables you to have what you call an Excel component. What this is, is an embedded Excel document inside your worksheet. The significance of this is if you're a person that prefers or has a huge legacy information in Excel, you can say, look, if I want to see this data in Excel, you can do that. This is inside Excel. If I were to select this and open it, there it is. 
it opens automatically on the other side in my case. So if I were to go to D, let's say D5, I can say I only know how to do summation in Excel. I know this is a simple example, but can you picture some of the things that you're familiar with inside Excel? So you can leverage this. I'm going to say, what's the answer? And you can go as far as even highlighting that and so forth. Immediately when I close this, the sheet inside MathCAD updates. That's the power of this. And that value could be something important, could be a value from an experiment or whatever the case is. So this, I can define it as an output. So I can say this answer here, it sits inside MathCAD, but on the cell D5. So if I were to evaluate the letter H, it's this value over here. And of course, you can modify this as you see fit. And this is it for now in terms of MathCAD. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave comments below. Until next time, goodbye.